Welcome to Weird Science Fizzing Lemonade. Ah, ice cold lemonade on a warm May day. First, one lemon. With some help, cut it in half, and you'll notice there's seeds inside. Be careful to squeeze it out and not have the seeds come out. Sometimes I put my hand underneath to kind of catch the seeds as they go into my cup. I love the smell of lemons. So juice of one lemon and then baking soda. A half teaspoon at a time because I love to see and hear the fizzing action. Add it to the lemon juice. And about a half teaspoon at a time they're saying to check out what happened. Can you hear it? And if we start to stir it up, like frothy, isn't it? And we can do it with another half teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. I can hear, hear still hear the fuzzies from the, I should say fizzing from the first time. But remember you can do up to one teaspoon. But doing a second one sure is fun. Why is it fizzing, do you suppose? Hmm, it's very frothy too. Smells incredible. I love the smell of lemons. Okay, next we add sugar and water. And now we've got the sugar. That is a but you know what, listen to that. It is making some sound. Let's put a little water in it and see what happens. Hmm, I'm excited to taste this. There we go. We made our own little fizzy lemonade. Give it a taste and let me know what you are feeling as you take the sips on your tongue. Can you describe it? So what exactly is happening here? Well, this is an acid-base reaction, kind of like the old erupting volcano experiment. The lemon juice is our acid, the baking soda is the base, and together they make the chemical reaction, which is the acid-base reaction. The reaction also produces a gas called carbon dioxide, which creates the bubbles when they form in a liquid, just like you see in this fizzing lemonade experiment. This process is called carbonation. Have fun!